Namaste everyone, welcome to my channel named Gaurav Kumar Jain. So in this one, I am going to tell you about how you can, uh, with the help of some very basic bash commands, migrate your Flask application you have on Git to Azure. So let's dive into the platform and check out these tips. So suppose this is your, uh, you know, applications files, right? And these are present on your git repo now what you have to do you have to simply find uh, this link with the help of which you can create a clone of it on azure and now once you are done with copying this link you have to first come on azure and then you have to create a resource group first now after creating the resource group you can create a web application right so what i have done here i've created a resource group with name flask resource as you can see and inside this I have a, a web application with name flask web dash one that's the one I'm talking about if you want I can just show it to you it's very simple if you uh, have an experience if you have experienced Azure early, before definitely you will be able to create these two things very easily so this is the one which I created after creating my resource group and it is inside this flask resource right okay now what you have to do you have to open your bash terminal so once you click this uh, icon automatically this window is going to come up and here you have to first clone your directory so simply you can use this command git clone and after that you need to put the url you copied from here you're going to copy from here fine and then you can execute the enter button once you're through with it it will open for you uh, this repo on your bash now you have to cd into this folder inside which all the application files are present so you can see here right on the top the folders name is getting reflected so inside it all my application files are there i cd'd into this folder and you know it's the path is now getting reflected over here in the next line now the next thing we have to do is we have to tell bash about the web application we would like to put this uh, put these files into right so flask web dash one that's what i created and i put the name over here and that's the command with the help of which you can simply tell your bash to link your git repo uh, to this web application now once you are through with writing the command and executing the enter button you're going to see uh, something happening like this right you're going to see these lines over here uh, and finally you will get a url right so when you will access this url you will get to see a you know basic uh, azure web page but not uh, the full-fledged web application right so on that site on that page you will find a message which will say to you your app is running and now you can deploy your content now how you will put your content on this web page so that's the command using which you can do it easily so what you have to do you have to now configure your uh, web application and how you will do it you can tell the name of the resource group that's the command you can write first right okay and then you have to change the resource group so for me it is flask resource uh, for you it can be something different like your name or something like that okay and then for me the web applications name is flask web dash one so that's what i mentioned here and then the startup files name will come so for this application the startup code is present in startup.txt so it will tell all the you know it will tell about the binding requirements uh, for the required for the application to bash or you can say to this web application now once you are done with firing this command it will give you all these things right it will give you the connection string then you know whatever files are there in uh, which are contributing to this web application so everything you will get to see here inside this bash terminal okay now after this you have to uh, fire one more command let me just show that to you okay i think that's the only one right and yeah 
so once you're through with it your application will come up on the url which i showed you earlier that's the one let me just show you the application so i have copied this url and i need to paste it here in the browser let's see the face of the web application so that's my web application right it's a simple flask application right uh, which the code of which was there is there on git and i migrated it to azure using some very basic bash commands so that's it from my side i would be providing the link to this git repo to you guys in the description section below you can create a copy of it on your uh, you know git portal so how you will do it uh, when you will come on your git you will get to see when you will uh, you know click the link which i will put in the description section below it will take you to git where you will get to see this option called fork so for me it is disabled because i've already created a copy of it on my git portal but for you uh, definitely you will get to see this fork option you just have to click it and it will uh, you know the whole thing the whole application will come on your uh, git uh, portal fine so once uh, you're done with it you can just follow these steps which i told you about right and in case you come across any issues for while creating this application or if you get any error uh, you know over here in this bash terminal you can put it in the chat box i will be happy to help you guys out thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial i hope you guys find it informative bye bye take care and have a great day ahead